you see now you, you're getting shadows casted everywhere um, I'm sorry I'll, I'll yeah, rephrase that we're getting light showing everywhere and uh, like I say that's what that's used for and it's quite a very powerful tool when you've got a very big scene and you don't really want to be messing about setting lights here there and everywhere you can just add in a, a skylight just to send illumination out everywhere um, and that that will do fine however with the skylight one thing you must be careful of if I just delete the uh, the spotlight now we just have the skylight in the scene okay I set it up to one because now it's on its own it's the only form of light in the scene so we need to bring it up is if you're using the cast shadows now you have to be very careful when you're selecting this option with um, uh, the skylight because the skylight believe it or not creates the most realistic shadows out of all the lights um, in Max however it will take a long time to render a scene okay now my rays per sample are set to 20 this is the default now if you lower this to 10 or 5 uh, it will render quicker however you will notice that because you've lowered it down you'll get quite a bit of roughness um, in the scene uh, the edges um, it look quite grainy uh, because you're lowering the quality but if I set this down to I'd say 15 okay and render this out um, actually I'm going to render this at a smaller size because it takes a long time to do uh, right I'll render this one out and we'll see what we come back with and there we have it as you can see here if I just zoom in um, you've got very very soft shadows and the um, the object itself is uh, very soft as well uh, the inside it gets you know the shadows get darker as it further it goes in and it gets lighter as it comes out but it's very soft and like I said this is the most realistic ways to make shadows but um, obviously if you have a lot in your scene and you're using high resolutions it will take a long time to render each frame okay so that's why you have to be careful of using cast shadows with the skylight I mean as I said you know the, the reward is good if you want realistic shadows but the price is slower rendering okay so right okay right if I just delete the, uh, the skylight okay and the next light we're going to be working with is the uh, target direct okay let's drag that one in uh, target direct is um, has the same options that we had before you have the, uh, the, the shadows and that but the difference with a target direct rather than um, target spotlight is a target direct is mainly used for mental ray scenes okay it does work in uh, scanline but it's uh, primarily a light that's used for scanline because if you go into the options here you can see you've got your mental ray um, options here and your mental ray light shaders and stuff like that okay um, and again like I say you've still got the same multiplier options put that up to one um, and you've got all, the, all these sort of things here um, you can you can raise up as you can see in this viewport here you can see that the actual um, area in which the light's being casted is raising up and down you see so obviously the center one um, inside the center here uh, it gets the most light and anything in the outer uh, ring um, is where the light falls off into um, into nothing so anything outside this line uh, is not receiving any light at all so uh, if I just render this scene for you I'll see what we come back with okay that's not too good because the lights on the wrong side okay so if I move around here and get, a, get a view of this side as you can see the, the light here is only cast on this section here so if I render this out on this side and see if we can get anything better uh, yeah as you can see it's only casting out in this section here and you can see where it fades out on the edges here so what we need to do is raise up the um, 